Hey everyone, Jordan from Hampton Roads Real Estate Photography again. And today I want to show you a quick little tip about lighting up a room the right way. Now I'm going to take two different pictures, the same picture but two different ways, and I'm going to use the natural light that's in the room, and then I'm going to add a second light which will fill in all the gaps everywhere, and you'll see the difference. So let me go ahead and do these two pictures and then I'll show you um, what difference it makes afterwards. Okay, so here we have the first shot. Now, this is a normal bedroom, nothing fancy about it. It's got a lamp there, no ceiling light, and has another lamp here. Um, not uh, not atypical at all. This is uh, something I, I see every single day. So if we look at the back of my camera, it's, a, it's not, super, not super easy to make out, but, um, you know, it's not very well lit. Most of the lights are coming from those lamps, and we'll just let it, uh, let it do its thing. Okay, so, you know, looking through the pictures, that those will blend together. Um, I'll blend those together afterwards and see what they come out. Now, I have this, um, this what's called a photo flood bulb. It's about 500 watt regular light bulb on the stand here. Um, and I can put this wherever I want, but you can just look and see when I turn it on, it fills out the whole room much better. See, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the same shot and then we're gonna see um, afterwards what effect that has on the, the quality of the picture, the, um, the accuracy of the colors and all that. So we'll see you back at the computer. All right, we are back at the computer here and what I have pulled up now is that first image. This is done without an additional light, just using those two lamps and the natural light in the room. Now, some things we can point out here is that even though this is already edited, um, and I will go, let's see, I'll hit this button, which will, this is the unedited version. So this is about um, as good as it's going to get. Um, what we can see here is one, there is uh, this green cast from the window. Um, the light, the color of the wall, even though it is just gray, it is changing as we go across the room. And it's just overall kind of muddy looking now let me let me go over to this shot which is the same shot with that additional light in the room now um, let's point out the same things one there's no uh, there's no green cast from the window there is a little bit of a reflection from the window bouncing off of this picture and then from here we have a little bit of a bloom coming in through the window but you know very under control it's not like that is out of control or anything and then we have a much more even lighting across the whole room now another thing to look at is the floor let me go back to the other one the floor is very uneven of course we have this shadow which is being cast from this lamp coming down and not being able to see this part of the floor. And then we have another one, the same problem over here. This lamp can't see this part of the floor. Now, my light bouncing off of the ceiling, it makes those much less of a problem. Okay, so now that I did that, let me show you one other picture that I did the same thing for. Okay, so here's the bathroom around the corner. Now, this first one, is with the additional light and if you take a look at it uh, my opinion is that it is pretty well lit it is pretty even um, you know not a bunch of distracting parts you're just seeing what the room is now let me go over to the natural light version of it and here we see the problems with not using additional light now now I would typically use flash um, for the person that might be watching this video though, flash is something that would definitely um, be the next step um, and it would take a bit of experience and understanding to use flash the right way and you know it's a, it's a few more pieces of gear that you would need to really pull it off. So using an additional floodlight or something like this to do that same job or you know to, to have that same effect um, is definitely something that the beginner or the casual um, person or agent that would do these photos um, is probably is probably better off to just use the um, 
you know, the less complicated method. So again, let's compare these two. Um, one thing that we can see is, of course, this is a huge blue, um, this blue section over here. That is caused from the window light in the um, in the bedroom coming through and lighting up here. Um, of course, later in the afternoon, light that comes through windows will be more blue. And um, but either way, if this wasn't blue, then it would be some other color, and it just wouldn't look correct. But we put um, we put that um, we put that big photo flood bulb in there, and you know it just lights up the whole place, and it doesn't really get affected too much from the window light. Of course, it isn't perfect here, but you know what would you pick between these two? I know I would pick the first one. So, anyways, that is a good look at the difference. Um, that using an additional light has and you know one of the big reasons that a uh, a good majority of cell phone pictures and you know normal camera pictures that you know don't have an additional light source in the room why they come out pretty lackluster um you know the what they can't do is get around natural problems that may be present in a room um so yeah anyways that's why uh you know that's why no one can, you can't just come into a house with a normal camera and expect to get you know the same results as someone who you know brings the full setup of gear and uh, you know is ready to tackle these sort of problems so anyways if you um, are looking to learn a little bit more there are more video guides on my website at hrhomepicks.com. And of course, if you would like to use our services, uh, you can go to the same site, hrhomepicks.com, or call me at 757-665-8656, and we'll be happy to help. Alrighty, have a good one.